All right, you guys, it's been a long day. Some super crazy things, as you know. Hey guys, we made it to Seville. <laughs> we got to the airport just as our flight was taking off. I think we saw it in the sky. But we're excited, we're pumped up. We are rallying as we are headed to the Seville Christmas Market. We're gonna drive there, we have a parking structure, and then we can just walk around. Everything's really close together. All right, we're gonna go check it out. Okay, we made it. Finding parking took us like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, it's a little bit crazy. There are tons of people down here. It's probably loud. You can hear people talking. The restaurants are busy. There are lights everywhere. Every street we look down has lights, beautiful, uh, what a palace. And so that's where the market is supposed to be set up. So we're gonna go check it out. Okay, it was a 10 minute walk here, not bad. There were lots of cute little alleyways. They had a lot of adorable restaurants on the way here. We even saw some paella. But we wanna check this out first and then maybe go back. But it's really packed. People are out here having a good time even though it's um, dark. It's 8.49 and the, everybody's ready to have dinner and have a good time. So let's see what they've got down here. Uh, and you can go inside. It's a lot of lights. You want to do it? Look at this tree. It's beautiful. The lights here are beautiful. Stunning. We're loving it. can't go wrong, every street just has more and more beautiful lights. Check these out. Palm tree and orange tree and a Christmas tree. So what you think? Okay, we it was our fourth time technically in Spain now this year. We were here in Valencia twice, we stopped in Barcelona for a day. I was never able to find sangria, so tonight we made that happen. Sangria. The Christmas market was more of like just the town is decorated for Christmas, the whole city is decorated for Christmas. Lights everywhere, Christmas decoration, absolutely beautiful. But we wanted a taste of Spain. They have um, in the mar on the market strip area. They had roasted chestnuts and uh, cookies and different things, but we really wanted to get some um, some Spanish foods in our last day here for this trip. So we found this cute little restaurant. Like I said, I got a sangria. Stephen got some local beers. Cheers. And then we got squid ink paella. All right, black squid ink paella. Steaming hot, just came out of the ovens. So it has the squid and then the squid ink, which is what makes it black. That was amazing. It had a little bit of a creamy texture to it. I don't know if that was the squid ink or something that they add in, but it, it made it like a thicker sauce around the paella than what we had previously. It's good. It's different, but good. And then we also had a Caesar salad that was pretty unique. <laughs> Caesar salad, but it has bacon on top of it. And not sure what kind of dressing. 
Let's see what this is. Oh, Caesar. Mm. <laughs> Caesar. It's not our Caesar, though. You have to taste it. This is very creamy. Right? But it doesn't taste like our Caesar. Mm. It's different. It's very creamy, very um, light, very, very different. Still delicious. It came with like pork bacon chunks on it. Um, oh, gracias. I forgot this. He had to bring this to me. Anyway, they're so nice. I would have been sad without this because we are headed to Germany tomorrow. Um, but the Caesar salad was very different. Not what we expected, but also delicious. And then we ended it with Spanish churros in chocolate. The chocolate was like um, hot chocolate, but very rich. It's almost not quite like Swiss hot chocolate, but in between American and Swiss chocolate. And then the churros were super crunchy, obviously just fried, hot. Churros. I think so. Oh, they're crispy. Oh, they're just fried, very hot. And they were like doughy on the inside. So super crunchy on the outside, doughy on the inside, warm and amazing with the chocolate. It was delicious. Perfect last meal in Spain before we head to Germany tomorrow. That's it from us here in Seville, Spain. Steven is behind the camera and I'm Elaine. Thanks for watching. Wishing you safe and enjoyable travels. See you next time. This was not on the list of places we were supposed to go, but I panicked and hopped off the bus because there's a market right here and it was too cute. We couldn't pass it by. Our first blue wine in Hamburg, Germany. I couldn't find them and I realized because they don't look like what we think of a gingerbread cookie. Be free.